What is up guys, it's Sobash, welcome back. We are back with some more Mobile Legends news and updates. Today I'm going to bring you the new hero balance adjustments that are coming in this next patch update. This is releasing in Asia today. And the first one I wanna talk about is Ruby. Of course, Ruby has been broke. Her passive has not been working. They've had problems with that. So they did optimize the mechanics for her passive skill to trigger and to make sure that it can normally take into effect even with your network condition being in a high ping uh, so that is fixed in this update they also uh, adjusted the recommended gears for ruby so it'll be interesting to see what they changed on it now for clint they decreased his initial attack power by seven points so clint got a little bit of a nerf to begin with he doesn't have as much damage to begin with but it doesn't look like they changed anything else on him um, next is Maya. The cooldown on Turbo Stealth increases from 38 seconds, 32 seconds, and 26 seconds to 38 seconds, 34 seconds, and 30 seconds. So the end game for Maya's Turbo Stealth on her ultimate, it looks like it has been increased on late game. So it scales for second level two more seconds and for the end level four more seconds. Uh, for Bruno, his attack growth coefficient increases by 1.8, so he's going to be getting stronger as he goes. Also, his volley shot, it adds the performance for teammates when they pass the ball. So, going to be interesting to see how that plays out. And uh, World Wave, it optimizes the animation performance of the ball's ricochet, so they updated animations on that as well. Now for Alice, uh, Blood Ancestry, this was changed. It optimized the animation performance when the hero absorbs the blood drops. Now what that means is when she's normally kills stuff, there's little red drops that are on the ground and when she gets close to it, she absorbs them. Um, they changed the animation on that, it seems like. Now the bigger one, of course, Alpha back in the update again. His armor growth coefficient was reduced again yet from 3.88 to 3.57. So he did get a slight nerf right there on his armor. Uh, I guess they thought Alpha was still a little bit too OP in the defensive department, but they did take care of it in this update. So that'll be interesting to see when they uh, roll it out for everyone. Now Karina, getting a kill or an assist will also reduce the cooldown for elusiveness and dance of death. So you can use these abilities that much quicker because it's going to reduce the cooldown. Now the cooldown of elusiveness is adjusted from six and a half seconds at all levels. The duration of the immunity to basic damage is reduced from three seconds to two seconds. And the cooldown of dance of death is adjusted to 6.5 seconds at all levels as well. And for the last hero on this is Lolita. A protective shield now cannot resist Raffaella's ultimate. So, Raffaella's ultimate, which goes in a straight line in front of her where she casts it and stuns everyone, Lolita can now not reflect that or block that with that shield. So that's going to be really interesting. And that's pretty much for it for this update, guys. Um, if you have any questions or concerns about these hero balances, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you want more news, tips, tricks, updates, guides, and builds for Mobile Legends, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Also, leave a like on this video as it does help us out a lot. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Again, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.